Hello, YouTube. Uh, we're playing Orcs. You guys haven't seen Orcs in a little while. Uh, they're still amazing. They've lost a couple of games. Um, just because they lost. Because it just happens sometimes. Uh, but they are still really, really good. This game is against dwarfs. I'm thinking a wizard is good. I'm also thinking, like, Wandering Apo. And a Bloodwiser Babe might be good, too. This is an 1,800 dwarf team. So they're going to be pretty fucking punchy, probably. Um, I'm not getting this. I just stopped here because I was doing something on the other screen. I think a wizard, like a wizard essentially just stops a drive, right? The drive is just over. It does not get to continue happening anymore. Um, do I want that? I mean, it's pretty good. It's got grab, got mighty blow. Six strength. Eh. Let's get a wizard. I like wizards a lot. I think they're really good. And yeah, it is pretty good against dwarves specifically too. We maybe could have spent some of our petty and gotten another thing. So this team is like, uh, like it Are was top 200 to in uh, Nag a couple of days ago. Um, and then I lost like two games. I don't think anyone's died though. Uh, Lewis Addison Armstead got an injury, but he's been fine since. Um, and I didn't replace him because he had plus move and block already, I think. It's, like, really good. So, he's still around. Good day, sports fans. <laughs> Great match this if you didn't play a lot of Chaos, you would get Wizards. No. Sure to be a bloody game. <laughs> the Stunties versus the Greenskins. The Dwarfs aren't stunty. What the fuck? We're going to experience a fantastic match today. Hi. Dwarf GLHF. They're not the best throwers by long shot, but an unsubtle use of brute force and a love of illegal weapons makes them a team to be feared. So, <clears throat> also we got Gary Corked in a dodge, so we haven't kicked him off the team. We don't really need him on the team anymore, but we keep him around because he has dodge. Um, This matchup is going to be kind of weird. He does, he's does he got a Death Roller, but he's not deploying it right now. It's got uh, Piling On, which sucks, and Guard, which sucks. Uh, he doesn't have any Guard there. He's got one there. Two, three, four. All right, so he's only got like four or five Guard. Uh, we could probably fight this guy, actually. Maybe this doesn't suck as bad as I was thinking. All of our Black Orcs have Guard. Um... Yeah, yeah, let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna load this guy up here so that he can run through. I'm gonna move my thrower in the back because he's gonna go pick the fucking ball up. Uh, gonna leave this man like right here. Well, actually, I want you more like right here because we're both super fucking slow in this game. So if the further up I am, the further up the line of scrimmage gets to be. So we're going to be a little bit pushed up today. All right. But that guy's still far enough back to be able to get back there if he needs to. Uh, so we ha we actually have just about as much guard as him. Um, he's got a little more block than us. Uh, but we have a little more strength than him. We might be able to fight this. Uh, the troll is the fucking troll here. Um, all right. <clears throat> let's go ahead and run up. Get in the scoring position. Uh, well, let's take a punch or two. Unity is strength. Cool. Unity is strength, if you think about it. Don't be dumb. Not a boy. So we're going to push the fucking line of scrimmage up, which makes us happy. Bang. Cool. That went well. Now we're going to do... We're going to look at their pieces, his pieces, and see like how far up they can get. None of them can get anywhere. So I don't need to cage. Um, so instead of doing that, I'm going to fucking walk up here with my big guys and be like, What's up, nerd? You want to fight? Let's fucking do that. 
Um, I can't really blitz much here. Uh, I can blitz this guy, actually, if I do it like this. So I'm going to move this dude up first, up over there. I think that's in range of scoring, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Cool. Let's punch this idiot. Uh, for those of you that are like, I'm learning Blood Bowl, so teach me Blood Bowl and stuff. Um, first off, hi. Thanks for fucking letting me do that for you. Uh, and also, I'm going for my punches first before picking up the ball here, because this guy has sure hand, so he gets a reroll on it. I have five rerolls, so burning one isn't such a bad thing for me early game, and I want to get ahead and punch him. Like, badly. He doesn't have any extra pieces. Well, he's got one extra guy and his death roller, so if I can take that guy off, he's going to be down a piece automatically, because the death roller can't hang out for very long, and he doesn't have a bribe. Uh, so And the rain sucks. So this is 75% pickup. Cool. Uh, and we're going to take all of our movement forward, because he can't reach us. That's my turn. <coughs> Alright, I gotta get uh, my fucking YouTube video back up now. close enough. It's not quite synced, but... Way! Oh yeah. That guy doesn't have tackle, so Lewis Addison Armstead doesn't give a fuck about him. Smells weakness. This piece has got... He, he did so well. He only has six armor now, so this could be the game he dies. Any game could be the game he dies, though. Oh, Jesus. We may see that play a little. His armor did the thing, by the way. He, he only rolled a 7 on the armor. So does that guy have Mighty Blow? No. So otherwise he would have been up. Ugh. It's just that he's not a very important piece. Because I have two, like, semi-important pieces that don't, could both not exist. And it's a dodge lineman, which is really fucking good. Like, that's doubles on a lineman. So I don't want to just sack him. And I have a plus movement fucking goblin with blodge. Like, ugh. I don't want to get rid of that either. So... Dogs out back, just freaking the fuck out. Hearing noises, barking at him. Alright, yo, we can go for a touchdown. We're gonna do that. I'm not going in there. That place is gross. Dogs out back, just freaking the fuck out. Just upset about things. We're taking the blocks where we can. Not really doing very well. Uh, no, fuck you, I'm still not going in there. I won't. arrived to assist their teammate. Whoa. Let's do the thing. One more move. Okay. All right, here we go. Pass. In the catch. In the rain as orcs. Two GFIs to the end zone. One time. Two turn on orcs. Boom! Is there any way to survive against high TV chaos team? Any over 1300 even destroy? Uh, 1300 chaos should not be destroying anybody. They suck. Um, late game chaos? It depends on how they built, man. If they went full murder chaos bash bullshit? No. Uh, not really. Uh, you kind of just take your blocks where you can, avoid them where you can, treat them as dangerous. Um, yeah. 
you know. Uh, treat them as dangerous. Stay away from them. Even if you're not a very dodgy team, still just stay away from them. Um, take your fights where you can get them, but don't just take every fight, even, again, if you're a really bad team. This team just survived an 1800 chaos the other day, and I didn't lose anything. Uh, and that's with a gabo. I still didn't lose anything. Um, and it's just, you know, just don't fucking fight them, man. <laughs> just if you see them there trying to fight you, just be like, nah, I'm not doing that. The KO energy, you're Bretonian. Yeah, Bretonian, just stay away from him. Stay away from him. Use your wrestle. Your wrestle is going to be super fucking annoying. And you're faster than him. Not by much, but you are faster. Yeah, Fen linemen and your wrestle pieces are good in that matchup. And other than that, just stay away. Like, understand going into that game, if you get into a high TV chaos, like an actual high, like 17, 1800 plus TV chaos team, where they have a shitload of claw mighty blow piling on and they're just gone full murder chaos, just understand at the beginning of the game, you're going to lose a couple of pieces. So try to make those pieces your shitty pieces that you don't care about, like those stupid linemen. Uh, or use your wrestle pieces so that you can avoid some of their because wrestle negates their piling on and it negates their block. Suffice to say that the matter has already been settled. Yep. And other than that, just use your blitzers as speed and just get around them. Kill chaos can't handle the ball at all. My chaos will be able to, and it'll be pretty bash. Uh, like full murder chaos can't because then you're just a cheesy asshole. Uh, but like you can get pretty murdery with chaos and still be able to do the ball okay. You just have to roll plus Agi on a uh, Beastman or two, like I have. And the rest of your pieces just go murder. So you have two guys that can do elf bullshit and everybody else just murders. Ugh. So yeah. That's how you do it, Cybeck. Now all that being said, you could just get murdered because <laughs> it's chaos. Um, and for some reason, it, it does kind of seem like in this game, uh, Chaos, even before they get skills, they get a lot of breaks, you know? Anybody got any playing cards? I'm getting bored. Hey, who knows the rules for nerdlings in the closet? We're going to just kind of fan out. Try to make sure he can't, quote-unquote, run around us. He's not really going to be able to anyways, but, you know. Uh, we're going to move up, but not too up, because we don't want to be touching this death roller if it comes through. Uh, we're just adjusting our pieces right now, just kind of adding tackle zones where I think I need them. Uh, and then I'm going to run this guy all the way on the greatest adventure of his whole fucking life. Two GFIs all the way to the ball. Jesus Christ, Zachary Taylor can just run, dude. He just doesn't ever have to not be running. Uh, I think I'm also going to go ahead and put this piece on the outside. Just in case. Just in case. I don't think he's going to be able to make it that far. But. Are Lizards decent to new play for a new player? I've had game for two weeks and do the game. No. Don't play Lizard. Don't play Chaos. Uh, because those teams are hard because they don't have any skills early. Um... Brett team isn't easy to start with his new player. It's also probably true. Um, orcs is good. Humans are good. Uh, don't play any elves. Skaven are okay. Dwarves are pretty good. And they're not that hard. And it teaches you positioning, which is cool. I like to recommend humans to people, uh, but it's been made clear to me lately that that's maybe kind of a dickish move. Because humans are actually really hard. They're just also very um, versatile, so you can learn, like, every style of playing through just playing a human team. Um, but, yeah, any of the Bash teams, don't play Elves. Elves are fucking sketchy. You have to kind of know what's going on before you can play Elves. But, yeah, Brett, Chaos, Lizards, probably the three worst. Probably uh, Chaos, Lizards, Brett in that order. First, Not, like, the worst teams. They're all really good teams, but the worst to start with. Yeah, they they can kind of always be frustrating because they're not great at anything, but they're good at everything. Um, I really, really like humans, for example. My humans kick ass, and I love them. Um, but, you know, 
I, I played this game way too much. Is the troll Colonel Sanders, Sanders because he eats gabas? Yeah. This troll is the the big guy that I care the least about when he falls off the pitch. I just don't like these sucks so bad. But uh, yeah, he exists per, like purely as a guard tackle zone, um, and also occasionally to launch a piece. Let's do this. Come on, guys. Together. Um, alright. So I'm trying to think how can I get to this fucking ball? And I'm the the options I'm coming up with are all horrible. Um I don't think I can. So I think what I need to do is just kind of punch up a bit. I kind of want to move this guy up, but everywhere I move him sucks. So... But he can't really stay here. Maybe he goes, like, here. Actually, maybe he goes here and just gives another push. I don't want to overcommit to this side, even though he is a dwarf. Yeah. Um, like a good old -fashioned fight. Pushing too far kind of sucks. Trolls are kind of just bad. They're not horrible. They're just not very fucking to good. Especially compared to, like, all the good pieces on the, tr the orc team. The black orcs and the blitzers. Uh, they just kind of suck. This is going to be decisive. So, went for this one because he doesn't have blotch. The other one had blotch. There's just nowhere for this to go that doesn't suck. Alright, alright. Nah, alright, fine. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and leave our four strength guy next to the Dauntless piece. Now that's a holding maneuver, if ever I saw Fine. one. Let's just go over here. Three agi dodge! Oh my god, these orcs. Uh yeah. Yeah. Make it as more difficult. Now it's just a simple matter cool. of getting the ball at their feet. <laughs> it's never set. Oh god, what happened? So this dwarf's in a cage and you could fireball them, that's gonna be great. What about the Skaven team and dwarves? Trolls are kinda bad, trolls are bad. Skaven is a good team uh, for early game because of just how fast they are. They teach you how to be quick. Um, because they really can't fight because they're so fucking weak with their seven armor and they only have two pieces that start with block. Um, they can still fight a little bit, but, like, their big advantage is how fucking fast they are. They just get up the field. And once you understand how to run away from your opponent, um, Skaven can be, like, deadly, deadly. Uh, the Rat Ogre is an okay big guy, too. Dwarves are easiest to play. Yeah, dwarves are pretty easy to play. And they also teach you positioning. And they teach you preemptive positioning and how to move your pieces where they're going to need to be because they have the exact opposite problem. They don't have much movement. Also, it teaches you how tackle works and how to use tackle as a bumper. Um, and you pretty much always beat people up. Even Claw Might and people are piling on Chaos, you can still beat the shit out of it. If they don't have a bunch of guard, 
Yeah, your whole fucking team has guard. You can still just kick the shit out of those. I just murdered a, uh, a 2k chaos team with my 1800 dwarves the other day. I just beat the shit out of them because they could never get two dice on me. Except when he was blitzing with his minnow and I killed his minnow on like turn three because I have a death roller with bribes. Why do I have five rerolls? Um, I don't know if this team actually start, has five rerolls or if there was a the bonus thing. Has just picked up the ball. That's not uh, because this team is like 10-1 right now. They have way too much money, so I just bought an extra reroll. Isn't the death roller a bad idea? Um, no. no. He does okay. He's not great. Like, you can choose to have him or not have him. Either way is fine. It's probably better to not have him, but... Um, or do you mean this one, where he is right now? Not sure what you mean. I, I like my death roller, though. He does good things. Especially with the new bribe stadium, exactly. With the with the guaranteed, well, not guaranteed, but you get bribes way more often in this game. Um, it's not, it's still not a great fucking piece, but it's it's fine. It does okay. Uh, and like you know, if you use them well with thirty player, mine got uh, luck like really lucky, and it got uh, block on its first level up and multi-block on its second level up. Um, so it's really cool. I really like mine a lot. Um, but yeah, if he didn't have that, it's just an okay piece. Uh, but if you're smart and you use like dirty player and stuff with him, he can be pretty, pretty fucking horrifying. Alright, um... I'm gonna move this thrower into a super scary place. Are we gonna surf a dwarf? Maybe. We'll see how that goes. First, we're gonna punch this idiot. Oh, god damn it. I'm setting myself up to get Dauntless so hard. Sorry. Punch this guy. Over there. Bang. All right, let's do the thing. Oh. One more step in. All right. Hey, get out of here, you fucking dwarf. And into the crowd they go. I followed up so that I could move because I have blitz on right now. A multi-block roller. Dude, block multi-block roller. Just douche, 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 douche. D hammering on fucking Chaos Warriors. It's pretty good. I killed three Death Rollers in five turns the other day. Or, uh, three Death Rollers. Three Chaos Warriors with my Death Roller in five turns the other day. It was amazing. Well, I didn't kill them all, but I knocked them off the pitch. Yeah, Death Roller has um, 30 player, which gives him a plus one on injury rolls. Whenever they're made from a foul during a foul action. Right there. So if it's like turn eight, um, and there's a dude laying down next to your Death Roller, fucking just foul him, right? If you don't have a bribe. And he's just going to be gone anyways. Damn it. That one sucks. I don't like my blitzers going off. Oh, I need those. Should get both of those back, pre preferably. But 
Dwarves are getting kind of clumped. This looks like it could be a fireball. Four dwarves for a fireball. It's pretty good. And it's three of his eight uh, armor dwarves. I'm guessing this one's going to run out and try to go get the ball, though. That's a super sketchy fucking thing. All right. Another player on the ground. The coach will be spitting teeth about uh, I don't think that's a fireball, actually. But since he, like, fell over like an idiot. Probably learned to foul. Um, fouling is a thing that you should use. Um, I mean, it's up to you, right? It, you're, you can make your own decisions when you play the game on whether or not it's okay to foul. The way I use fouling is um, when I basically whenever I can foul and not feel like, like a stupid jerk. So I never foul on turn 16 um, unless I'm in like a, a tournament or something. That sucks. Oh, that really sucks. That team should avoid um, I foul like if I have a reason to, I will go ahead and give it a foul. And if it's like a 60% or better... Uh, to break armor. Because it's like a 28% that you get thrown off when you foul. Um, so in order to make that work, you need to have like a 60% on the armor break, and then you get a 40% on the... or 30% on the injury roll to actually remove them from the pitch. So in order to make it pretty much always worth... I mean, it's up to you. You can do it however you want to whenever you make your decision. Or backup piece or an expendable piece. Yeah, like 40k goblins, I'll foul with those nerds all day. Every time I get a chance to foul with a fucking goblin that's only worth 40,000, if I'm trying to hit like a war dance or anything, fuck yeah. Uh, that percentage it shows on foul is chance for armor getting broken. A loose ball is a dangerous ball. <laughs> yes, that's what it is. It's an armor break chance. It's about a 28% because it's uh, on any double you get uh, thrown out. So it's actually a little bit better than that. It's 28%. Uh, for the first one, and then if you break armor, it's another 28% roll. So that's, uh, like 35% chance if you break armor that you get ejected. Yeah. I could, you could fireball the roller. Uh, not much of a reason to. It's kind of hard to break his armor with fireball. He has 10 armor. <clears throat> it's hard to get a knockdown on that guy. Oh, hey, we got a bot. Get out of here. Okay, and you can raise that by having more people on the down guy's tackle zones. Yeah, the, it's just like normal assists. So if he's getting touched or anything like that, you don't get as many, so and so forth. Bam! Does he have guard? Where is guard? Where where is guard? All right. Um. How do blitz this nerd? So this guy is guard, so I need to match that with some other piece. Like, uh, not much way to do it, really. On this. We're doing it this way. I'm just going to try to make this as difficult as I can for him. Uh, I'm 
Okay. This player likes to be well assisted in a fight. Could do this. That's one die. Doing this. Remember, yes. You need balls to score. <laughs> it's a common tactic to kill the fool carrying the ball, then you stop him from scoring. All right, we're gonna take this. Ugh. Ugh. Come on. Yes. There we go. Punch our way out this way. Ugh, alright. Uh, Alright, dodge and pick up and dodge, which is horrible. Uh, let's do this. Bam. Alright, there we go. Alright, alright, it panned out pretty good. Okay, so a high, high, AV tight, ugh, high AV guy will be harder to foul than a different one, I'm guessing, is what you said. My fucking thing is, like, all busted now. And yes, yes, it will be. You break armor, and then you roll on the injury table, just like normal. You just don't have to knock them down, because they're already down. Hey! Nobody expects the dodge, Black Orc! Boom. Oh damn. All right. Oh, that sucks. Another Blitzer KO. Rolled three pals on three one dies. Yeah, dude, that was a good turn. How do I plan to use the wizard to stop him from scoring? <clears throat> if I can get like four like a decent four hit with uh, dwarves, I might consider taking the fireball. Otherwise, I plan on using it as a lightning bolt to stop the drive. I want to use it as a way to make him not be able to score the game. On his drive, though, you'll probably be able to do that without the wizard. This is actually my drive. Well, it was my first half kickoff. So hopefully I can just stop him, and then I'll be able to use my fireball in the second half. I might, if he, if he picks this up, and everyone's still standing here, I might just fireball these four. That could be a thing that I consider. For now, I'm just going to move my free pieces while I consider that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so let's go ahead and take some punchers. We want to do this punch because we don't want our guy to get surfed. That makes me mean. Or that makes me sad, rather, not mean. I'm not a mean person. Uh, fucking four strength jerk. All right, let's do this. Yeah, there we go. These black holes are extremely useful for breaking the lines. That's gonna hurt. Mm, not doing that. Morning. Or any of that. Or any of that. Or any of that. Okay, I want to do this. 
Sad. Alright, so we're gonna do this. Shit. Do Dwarven Runner start with sure hands? Yes. Fuck! Alright. We are gonna fucking fireball everybody. Boom! He's Got dead. one, and he's dead. We killed one of them. Heck. That's his level 3 blitzer, too. Should probably app with it, yeah. Ugh, no casualty. Okay. Got another one. Got two. Got three. Nice. Nice. It's pretty good. Pretty good fireball. <laughs> Get this blitzer up. Maybe score a touchdown. No, wait, I can't score a touchdown. It's my eighth turn. Push. Real. Super hyped that we injured that fucking jerk. I wish it would have been a badly hurt so he would never rerolled it. Because uh, that was one of his guard pieces. And getting towards guard off the field feels great. Yeah, go away. You fucking nerd. Get out of here. That's why guard's really good, boys. Oh, he left. What up, smudge face? I don't know why he left there, but it's pretty funny. Uh, ooh, got a blitzer leveled up. All right, let's go ahead and pause my uh, music. Let's go take a look at what's going on with this team now. Got a blitzer level up. Does this team have five rerolls? No, it's only got four. All right, so we have two with guard. We'll probably get this one guard too, honestly. Guard is just really fucking good. Yeah, it's probably guard. Da -da 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 -da. Where's the chat? Conceding like a bitch? Yeah, that was a weird concede. Maybe he just had to go. I'm just gonna assume that he had to go and he just couldn't be bothered to say anything to me, which is fucking rude, but whatever. Could give him tackle. That could be fun. I think guard though. I think guard's just too fucking good. Yeah, it's just it's just really strong. Uh, Stadium right. is like a second home for a team. Cool. Let's fire some cheerleaders. Hello, cheerleaders. So good to have you. Fuck out, cheerleaders. Alright, cool. This team is still doing really well. I'm really, really happy with where this team is. I played it a, quite a bit off-camera. Um, nothing super significant happened. Some people got level ups. A lot of it was just guard. There was a doubles on a black orc, so he got dodge, which was hilarious. Um, nothing else really happened, though. We, and then we lost two games, which sucks. So, we were like 7-0 last time uh, YouTube slash stream saw this team. Uh, we went up to like 9-0, or 10-0, and then we lost. Uh, we were in like the top 100 in uh, NAF. Now we are... Uh, we're in the top 1K still. Even with two losses, that makes me pretty happy. 9-15, pretty good. Pretty good, doing pretty good. Uh, Twitch, we're going to take a little break here. YouTube, that's it. Uh, thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you in a little bit.